Today on Tree Talk, we are discussing smooth alder, Alnus serulata. Um, it is a very thicket-forming shrub um, that often clings to uh, the banks of ponds and streams, much like I am here today. I don't have a lot of space in between uh, myself and this man-made lake, uh, but uh, this is really where I see it. I, I see it in wetlands, um, and again, it's very good at forming thickets. We'll get into that. That is a huge benefit of the species. Um, but in moving water and on banks of uh, lakes and ponds, I usually see it kind of right there on the bank, not very far from that. It really likes to have wet feet, which makes it very uh, ideal for conservation in those areas. Um, first, let's get into the description. Um, so, uh, something that sticks out um, is the catkins. So, we have, the, it is a monoecious species, so it has both male and female flowers on the same um, plant. Um, it is wind pollinated, and so these are the male catkins here um, that will, uh, they will kind of get a little bit longer um, and they will turn yellowish when they are actually blooming. This will develop into the flower tissue. Um, these are persisting female flowers. Um, and so, uh, yeah, they're, oh, and we are actually, oh, great, that's awesome. We're getting some seeds. Cool, super cool. I didn't plan that. Uh, so these are the seeds. They're very small. Um, I think they are technically nutlets. Uh, winged nutlets in here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and toss these um, into the water uh, to hopefully spread out. And that's probably where all these came from, um, is just one plant is all it took. And then they slowly uh, ended up landing right on the bank um, and growing into shrubs. They do grow quite fast, um, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's talk more about identification. Um, so I found a couple leaves. It was really hard to find these leaves because um, it's going right out over the lake here, um, but it is called um, uh, almost serulata because of the serrated leaf margin. Um, to me, it also has, it's kind of wavy. The leaf margin is very wavy. Um, the leaves aren't too big. This is, this one here is about kind of the normal size um, on the larger size. Um, one thing I do want to point out with these leaves um, that is kind of important for identification is the base is V-shaped. Um, so there is an invasive alder, black alder, Alnus glutinosa, um, that looks, uh, the uh, tree looks different. It's actually more of a tree than a shrub, um, but it has a uh, more of a kind of W shape at the base, um, or a heart-shaped base, chordate base, um, than this notch-shaped base. Um, so uh, one more thing about the identification, um, the bark on um, smooth alder is smooth. Um, that is uh, distinctive compared to speckled alder, um, which has very visible white lenticels that are, that are pretty distinctive. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, the species is not really great for, you know, timber, obviously not a super useful species for kind of economic, um, you know, uh, things for, for people, but it is excellent for conservation because there's not a lot of stuff that can grow right here, you know, basically in water. Um, it's easy to propagate by live stakes. I've done a decent amount of live staking using um, smooth alder. It does okay. It's not as good as things like black willow, but it does pretty well, responds pretty well to live staking. Um, so uh, it is an excellent species for forming thickets, um, for forming, you know, dense habitat, uh, for cover for wildlife. Um, great way to uh, stabilize a stream bank, especially if you can either plant it or propagate it by live staking um, to, to pound those live stakes into a stream bank to stabilize it really quickly, um, forming great uh, wetland habitat um, in, in uh, areas that don't have enough woody vegetation. Um, so excellent for that cover. Um, and then uh, those little nutlets are eaten by birds and things like that, of course. Um, and uh, obviously it's going to be feeding insects that are going to be feeding other things too. So. There you have it, a short tree talk for a short little tree. Um, uh, oh, one more thing, I have seen it, it grows very fast, I think I did mention that, um, but it'll respond very well to herbivory. Um, so, you know, a deer can come in and chew it down when it's small and it'll just bounce right back, it'll grow uh, really, really fast. So um, that's another excellent reason to plant smooth alder in your conservation plant. 